Hey, this is Vishal Sarkar. Um, I'm at the airport right now. And I wanted to make this quick video about how to be an awesome speaker. You know, a lot of people want, they say, I want to be a great speaker. I want to be an awesome speaker, but most people don't know. So maybe it's you, you have had experience in your, in your field for the last 15, 20, 25, 30 years, or maybe on the lower side, maybe 10, 12 years. You can use this formula to become an awesome speaker. And this is an abbreviation called awesome. As you can see, A-W-E-S-O-M-E. A stands for authority. If you want to be an awesome speaker, you must have authority in your personality. Authority doesn't mean that you are forceful. Authority means that people see you as somebody, uh, you know, who people can trust, somebody who can, who people can see as a trusted advisor. Makes sense? So authority is very important. The W stands for wow with your body language. See, there is a formula that we teach called 7, 38, 55. 55% 55 of your communication is your body language. So if you have lousy body language, people will not see you as a leader. So your your eye expressions, you know, your uh, facial expressions, your gestures, um, your movement, uh, how you use your hand gestures, your uh, movement on stage, or if you're doing virtually, you know, when you smile, when you don't smile, when, there is a way to break eye contact sometimes, break eye contact intentionally. So it's not about just licking people in the eye. No, those are robotic ways. There are ways to do that. Makes sense? So E stands for your energetic presence. Energetic presence. Your presence have to have energy. You know, a lot of people have good body language, good knowledge, but they don't have energy. Look, if you don't have energy, people are not gonna uh, buy into your message at all. So let's quickly review. Authority, wow with body language, energy. And the S stands for your sound. Your voice has to be powerful. You know, your pace, your, um, your volume, your pitch, your tonality. These are all very essential points in your speaking without which you can never become a powerful speaker, okay? So authority is important. And also when it comes to sound, your how clear is your sound? It's not about just using your voice, but using the clarity. A lot of people don't have clarity in their speaking at all. And that's why they, uh, they're not understood properly. Makes sense, the O in the awesome formula stands for your organization. Organization of your thoughts, organization of your expression. You know, sometimes people see, we see it all the time when I coach people that people have a lot of ideas in their head, but they don't know how to organize it properly. For example, right now in the airport, if I ask somebody to talk on just, just if I ask them to talk about coffee, most people have zero idea how to talk. In the On the phone call also, they're like, ah, who? right? They have no idea how to organize their content properly. Imagine if you can organize your content properly when you're speaking to your your team members, your boss, your clients. Imagine if you could organize your content a bit more when you're speaking to your children. How awesome could it be? And when it when it comes to organization, it's not about just saying everything that you want, it's saying in a in a proper way, in a in a structured way. And the M stands for master your storytelling. You know, there is a saying called facts tell, stories sell. If you want to sell your ideas properly to the people, you to master the art of storytelling. And there are many ways. There is the personal storytelling, business storytelling. There is the persuasion storytelling. There is the influential storytelling formula. There are many storytelling formulas that we teach. Uh, but, but it's very important for you to learn. And it's not just uh, understanding the concept. And it's also not about practicing. It's about understanding practicing and then getting feedback with you know i remember um, there was one lady um, she came to uh, one of the set you know she she was it was the, her first session with us and when i was talking to her i took her video like sorry her speech and i asked her to speak it was my first time interacting with her and she was she was an audio and i asked her to speak on on uh, on something and uh, her name is name was Kaviri. and she spoke and she spoke well not bad but then i took the same exact words and i turned into a story and she was like wow and there is nothing i added i just took her words her content put it in a structure in a storytelling and good things can happen and the last e stands for elevate the audience elevate the audience think about it why do you think so many people right now are coming to starbucks they want to elevate their mood in the same way when you want you know you should become the coffee for the audience you want to elevate them you want to charge them up properly and do you do that with your presence with your um with your connection strategies with your stories um with your content with your statistics but at the end of the at the end of your speech people should not feel tired they should feel, feel fired up they should feel like oh my god i was here before the presentation but i'm here right now they should feel elevated to a whole different level and that's why people are here for example at the, the starbucks makes sense to you in case you're wondering right now can you guess where i am 
Can you guess where I am right now? Okay. I'm at Jaipur, in case you're wondering. So, um, beautiful place and want to just say it. So anyways, let's quickly review the awesome formula. A stands for authority. W stands for um, wow with body language. E stands for energetic presence. S stands for your sound. O stands for your organization. M stands for master storytelling. And E stands for elevate the audience. If you believe that you have a message in your heart and if you believe that you are meant to be a be an awesome speaker but you don't know how um, there are two ways to go about it. I'll tell you right now see think about it how long has it been that you've been thinking about being a great speaker maybe t five years maybe ten years maybe three years time passes fast doesn't it and if you keep waiting time is gonna pass even more five years down the line and you'll still be an average speaker do you want that for yourself? No? Okay, so here's what I want you to do. If you want to know exactly how to be a powerful speaker, you can give us a call on the number that you see on the screen. We have a team who will speak with you, understand Hello. what are the challenges that you face, how long has it been that you're facing these challenges for, and exactly what direction you need to take yourself to another level. So if you want that, we have a practical program. Our program is a very, very practical program. You get experiential fine tuning. It's an implementation based program because it's a systematic program with synergy. We give you the most usable techniques, usable frameworks, usable methods, usable tactics about your public speaking skills, step by step coaching, step by step guidance and hand holding. We give you hands on experience, feedback, correction. I am there to correct your mistakes and give you action actionable strategies and tactics so that you receive the practical transformation now. So yeah, absolutely. We have a practical program that can transform yourself. And if you want to know more exactly how to do it, that's what you do. Vishal Sarkar here reminding you that public speaking is not about perfection. It's all about connection. Anup, one question. What is the biggest difference do you see in yourself as a speaker overall for the next, last few months? You know, you joined the public speaking course, Speakathon, Mastermind. What, what is the biggest difference that you see, the positive difference? I think uh, earlier I was reading it, as you remember. The first time, second time I made uh, speeches, I was just reading it uh, on the in the background. And then I was reading it point-wise, uh, progress. And now, like, you know, I make points and try to practice it uh, a bit on those points, try to add stories to it. Uh, and, and and I think it's a confidence which has come. Uh, so so, so and right. more confidence uh, which comes. And, uh, uh, you know, this has led me to increase my timelines when I'm talking to people or a larger audience or, or mm. I'm talking to seniors. Uh, as, a, as my, uh, you know, as, as my conversation, you know. Best part of the program is actually uh, the accountability. I mean, even if you miss, there were there were a lot of assignments, but even if you miss those assignments, there were people to really follow up and really encourage us and motivate us. The group synergy was amazing. So that's the best part of the program, of the program, which I feel. Vishal Sarkar as a mentor, I mean, he is, I don't think there are any words to describe him. For me, he has been everything for the last four months. I mean, my schedule has been around him. It's the instructions he used to give, the messages he used to give. Everything has really uh, influenced me a lot. It has connected with me deeply. And uh, I have decided that he's the mentor for my life. So I have attended a lot of programs before, like min min probably 50, 52 programs. But this has been the program which I have been, I have been waiting for my life. And so I'm sure that you will have you will not look back, 